Yo, what's good, family and friends? My name is Ray. Um, so today's uh, recording, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go over forex basics on how to understand, right? How to read the charts, right? Because a lot of times people come in this, you know, people come in this market and they don't understand how, you know, the the concept of market going up and down, right? So a lot of people understand the the basic stuff on stocks, right? So let's say, for example, Tesla, right? People understand that the Tesla's price is going to keep going up when the value of Tesla is going up, of course, and then the USD will go down, right? Well, the value of Tesla is going to go down is, of course, you know, if, if Tesla is going down, right? So, you know, people, that part right there is simple to understand. But what I really want to go over today is, is you know, the Forex, Forex side of the house. You know, whenever we have a pair or quotes, whatever you guys prefer calling them, it's all the same thing, right? So let's say we have a currency like JPY versus USD, right? How do you read that? You know, so today that's what I'm going to be going over, right? So as you guys can see, right, right now I'm on NASDAQ. But I'm going to go ahead and change that to Forex and look up uh, any random pairs. So for example, right now, right, Euro, right? So I'm going to go ahead and delete this analysis. I don't even know why I have this. Right. So first thing first, um, today is the 25th of February, 2022. I know right now there's, you know, crazy stuff happening out there uh, in Ukraine and also Russia. Uh, pray that everyone's good, you know, uh, and everyone is is OK. Hopefully it just, you know, breathes through and nothing major happen is happening. Uh, rest in peace to the people that actually lost their lives so far. It's kind of unfortunate, um, you know, for the people that has been tuning in my channel. Right. I actually did serve in the army for eight years. So. You know, I do feel about, you know, I do feel on, on what's going on. Um, I am concerned, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm at the mindset right now where I'm not going to be stressed about something that I can't control, you know. But today, though, what I can do for you guys is that I can, you know, drop some value, share my knowledge with you guys, and hopefully I can help you guys out to become successful. And also, you know, by me doing this, you guys can put yourself in a position to win, uh, and also at the end of the day, what you guys are going to learn today is something that I also learned myself from, you know, from the platform that I'm part with, which is iMaster Academy. And also, you know, with the people that I've been hanging out with, you know, but with that being said, right. So let's say, you know, you're new in here and you don't understand the concept of, you know, uh, seeing pairs. Right. So like this. All right. Right now I'm on Euro USD. Right. So that's, you know, uh, literally Euro USD. Right. And we're on a four hour time frame. Uh, let me go ahead and close this out. Bam. Right. So understand that whenever right the value of euro is going up, the market, right, the chart is gonna go up as so. Whenever the value of United States dollar right goes up, United States uh, the chart is gonna pull down. So just think of it like this, right? It, it's a game of tug of war, right? It's literally euro USD. So whichever pair that comes in first. Their goal, right? If if their value is higher, the market's gonna go up, right? I'm gonna go ahead and actually go ahead and uh, drop that in here. So, euro, right, over USD. So you know, if you guys have an imaginary line in the middle, right? This is what it is, right? Literally, this is what it is. So it's just literally just them going against each other. Which pair is higher? Which pair is higher? Right. And at the end of the day, this is how we make money. We make money by simply predicting which which way the market is heading to. If we think that United States dollar is going to is going to have a higher value, of course, I want to go in for a sell because then that means the market is going to go down. Right. If I think that euros value is going to go up, then I would want to get in for a buy right? for margin trading, by the way. Right. I would want to get in for a buy because I know that the market is going to go up. Right. So. The way to see this is that, you know, one, one thing for sure that I also want to implement is the whole fundamental side of the house, right? The fundamental analysis. But before we dive into that, right? So looking at this, we got euro on the top. We got USD on the top. So whenever the value of United States dollar goes higher than euro, right? Understand that the market is going to go down because United States dollar strength, right? The, the, their power right their buying value is gaining is, is increasing higher than euro right and, and that's how simple like literally that's how that's the that's the easiest way to describe it right and of course for the, you know for euro if the value goes up 
then understand that the market might go up. You know, you guys can see right now, right? The euro is pushing up. And, and there's multiple ways that that can happen, by the way. It's not just if one gains strength or this and that. Sometimes if, if one loses strength, then also that is a way that the market is going to go up. So let's say that, you know, let's say that euro USD is uh, value increases, then the market is going to push up. OK, as so if 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 the United States dollars strength, right, if the United States dollar strength goes higher than previous, then what's going to happen is it's going to go to the opposite side. Therefore, the market is going to push down. Right. And that is the perfect opportunity for sell. Right. And this is right here is the perfect opportunity for buy if you're trading with this pair. Right. Now, how can we tie in the whole looking at the news, this and that? Right. How can we tie that into what's going on? Where how can we potentially use that in, in our advantage to actually, you know, make our analysis even even more sufficient? Right. Well, one of the ones that I use right now. Uh, one of the one of the major um, websites that I use when it comes to like looking at the news is forexfactory.com. Right, this is free. Of course, today is Friday, so the market is already closed. I'm actually in Eastern Time, so it's 5:40 over here, so the market is closed. But I just want to simply show you guys, you know, what this is. Right, so every day the drop, what's going on? Right, so as you guys can see, we got our currency pairs right here. We get the time, we get the date, right? And looking at the pairs, you guys can see, you know, what pairs is going to be affected around, you know, those time and also the impact, right? There's three impacts, right? We got yellow for almost no impact, right? We got orange, as you guys can see with medium impact. And then we got red, which is high impact. And one thing that I do want to go ahead and, you know, say this now, because a lot of people think that anytime there's, there's news, they, they assume bad news. No family. Right. Sometimes news are not bad. They're, they're not, they don't have to be bad. It just means that it's something drastic that changed that can impact the market. OK, so looking at this, right, I'm looking at euro. We see that we have a lot of, you know, folders over here. As a matter of fact, you know, let's see, actually go ahead and click it. So we got euro at 2 a.m. this morning because you guys can see that euro was, was actually pulling up. Right. You guys can see the market was pulling up on the upside today. So let's see what was going on. You know, looking at this, right? You, this is the detail, right? This is what you really want to look into this, right? So first thing first, this is the actual majority time. This is still empty until the time actually hit forecast and then the previous, right? Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. So let's say I click on Germany. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Private loans, right? Let me go and collect private loans. The The only thing that you really want to look into out of all of this family, yes, you guys can look at the history, but what I look at is the usual effect. It says actual, which is this right here, greater than forecast is good for currency, right? Actual greater than forecast, actual greater than forecast is good for the currency. So looking at this, when, when the news came out, when the actual came out, which is greater than the forecast, right, is good for the currency. What that means is that if it's good for the currency, that means that the strength will gain, right? The strength will go up. And, you know, that would help me out on what type of analysis that can potentially impact of what I'm trying to get into. If that's the case, if this came out, then I would know that I would want to, I would prefer to get in for a buy because I know that the market is going to push up. I mean, because of the news, right, it's going to push up the market towards the euro side of the house, right? And same thing goes for, you know, anytime you guys see red folders, you guys can see at USD, right, you know, it's dollar, we got red news. Well, over here, it's just all the same thing. So this shouldn't really make any difference. This is an actual greater than forecast all five percent which is honestly nothing but looking at this though right so core right we, we got the core durable and let's check out what it says it says actual greater right than forecast is good for the currency and you guys can see that this is also good for the currency so therefore what happened what should have happened was not only you had euro pushing up but also us is pushing up so you know whenever you guys see that it could cancel each other out um let's see what happened though Let's see what happens. So let's go to smaller time frame, right? Yes. Yeah, so we saw what happened. So as you guys can see, 
when the news was released for this right here at 4 a.m right around 4 a.m so looking at this 4 a.m 4 a.m today is the 25th so boom shabang let's go a small time frame because right now it's looking crazy looking crazy boom so now you guys can see what happened right look watch this right here at 345 as soon as four o'clock hit the market went up because over here right the actual news for for the 4 a.m was actually greater right it was good for the currency hence to why the market pushed up to that level hence to why the market pushed up to this level and then later on it went down because let's see what news that came out so around 8 30 right so we got the news over here at usd that we were talking about which is good for united states dollars so therefore they should they should have started to pull the market down and around eight let's see I guess you can see right here from seven to seven thirty and boom right look watch this you guys see what happened family at 8 a.m as soon as the market as soon as the news came out it was up here it literally went down and ended up opening here and then the market pushed down right so understand that the news does impact right impact what's going on in the market uh one thing that i do want to say is that don't solely rely on the market i mean on on the news because one thing that i'm going to tell you right now sometimes what they do is they actually use the news as an excuse to push the market towards where they want it to go right um so something that i do want to say now one thing that i, I also want to cover because I, I i'm going to make this short for you guys one thing that I also want to say is that let's say, you know, because I, I I told you guys how the news can affect, you know, the market as far as if the news is good for euro or USD. Well, guess what? If the news is bad, right, if the news is bad for that currency. So let's say that um, so let's say that United States get a bad news, right? Get a bad news. I'm going to make that red for bad news, right? Let's say the United States get a bad news, so therefore the currency value goes down. Well, guess what? If the currency value of the United States goes down, guess who's naturally going to pull the market? Euro. So therefore, the market will also go up, right? And also, same thing, vice versa for Euro. So let's say Euro get a bad news, and, you know, USD has been doing the same thing. Well, guess what? You know, Euro's value is going to go down, therefore... Right, the market's gonna go lower because their uh, euro is losing its value, right? So therefore, the market's gonna go down. Um, I hope this is making sense, man. This is really simple. I just want to quickly show you guys the difference. Uh, so let's say let's look at one more thing. Let's look at uh, let's see, let's see what's going on. Let's look at euro JPY, right? Looking at euro JPY, um, as you guys can see, oh no. I do have some market analysis already that I, I marked up, but let, let me just go ahead and delete all this anyways, right? So looking at this, right? If let's say, you know, cause remember Euro, let me go ahead and write it down. So where's my little thing? Bam. So this, in this case is Euro versus JPY, right? So Japanese yen. So if, euro get a good news well guess what the market will push up and you guys can see the market's pushing up if japanese yen right has a good news well guess what the market will go down or vice versa right if you do get bad news the market's going to push down if japanese yen gets bad news the market's going to push up uh and also one thing that i do want to say right there's correlation to this right so the fact that we were looking at euro usd earlier and also we're looking at uh you know jp or your jpy so if euro goes up for you you know if euro usd right if you're trading with your usd and you see the market pushing up because of the news well guess what majority of the time euro jpy is also pushing up because what's in front of it is euro right so understand a correlation right so let's just say that you're trading with um let's say euro usd and then you're also trading with uh, uh usd jpy right i'm not even sure if that's a pair but 
So understanding that there's those two pairs. So let me go ahead and write it down. So if you're trading with this right here, actually, let me go ahead and do this. If you're trading with Euro USD, right? Euro USD, and you're trading with another pair, and it's a USD JPY, right? If you're trading with this, understand that if we get some good news for United States dollar, where the market, where the value of USD is, is increasing, well, for this pair right here, right, for that pair right there, the market is actually going to push down, right? The market is going to push down. Now, for this pair, right, if we get good news in USD, the market is going to push up. So under, understand the correlation, man. Make it make sense. This is really simple. Um, I hope this this actually made a lot of sense to you guys. Uh, with that being said, you know, you guys know the deal. Drop some stuff that you guys truly like out of this video. Um, all, and also, you know, drop some comments on what I can improve on because at the end of the day, I can only get better from the feedback that you guys are giving me, good or bad. I, I'm actually good at taking, you know, criticism well. So, you know, I, I love I love getting, you know, getting feedback so that I can help you guys and become so that I can become the best version of myself so that I can also help you guys. But with that being said, um, that's all I got to say. I hope you guys enjoy your Friday night. Uh, and I, again, I hope that everyone that's actually, you know, in this crazy war right now, I hope that everyone's safe. I pray that everyone's happy. I pray that everyone just come together and, you know, make some peace. Peace out.